see friends what is given right see first uh, the problem statement an export house gets an order for a sgd 50000 cif for export of uh, ready made garments to the singapore and approaches his banker to release the pca that is a packing credit advance so what happened one exporter is there and uh, he got order to export something that is a garments to the singapore and what is the amount of that order order is a uh, 50000 singapore dollar right so once he uh, give place that order once he ships that order he will receive the 50000 but what is uh, what is mentioned cif is mentioned okay next what is the amount of a pre shipment advance released against this order if insurance comes to 10% and what here the insurance come to 10% and the freight charges they have directly given the 1000 singapore dollar okay given that the bank return the margin of 15% on pcl and spot rate for the sgd inr is 55.30/34 bank has the margin 0.2% so this is the data given so friends this is very commonly they are asking for even two marks also they can ask because it is very easy we simply understand here we are exporting means here the exporter from india he is exporting to the singapore and he will uh, ha- he is having the order of 50000 cif cif is mentioned means what always remember when you give the packing a credit advance when you give the packing credit advance right it is always on the fob value it is always on the fob so what is fob it is a uh, it is the uh, advance which you are giving means free onboarding and when in that free on, uh, onboarding when you add the insurance plus freight means transport charges plus insurance that will give you the cif value that all we have discussed in the uh, terms used in the elc right so that terms we have already discussed so you should remember here what is a in case in fob value if you add the insurance as well as the freight charges there is a courier charges transportation charges it will give you cif so here they have given the 50000 as a cif value but we should find the fob in respect to give the loan because we always give the packing credit loan based on the fob value very easy now see here packing credit advance is always sanction on the fob value now see export order is cif basis so we should find the fob value very easy now see here what is cif value cif value they have given 50000 uh, the singapore dollar we want uh, see here i have already told you it is very easy right fob plus c plus insurance plus a freight that will give you the cif value so from uh, to get the fob we should subtract that is a cif value minus insurance minus a freight then only you will get the fob value very easy so cif value is 50000 right minus what is insurance insurance they have given 10% 10% they have stated here see here insurance come to 10% okay so once insurance is 10% means 10% of that uh, 50000 will be 5000 minus what is the freight freight charges they have given 1000 minus 1000 so 50 minus 5 is 45 minus 1 is 44 right so you can see here this is the cif minus insurance 10% here it is 10% minus the freight charges 1000 minus 1000 so 50 minus 5 is 45 minus 1 is 44 so what is the fob value fob value is now 44000 singapore dollar now next what we have to find how much amount of loan we can give now see here bank return margin 15% on the pcl now we give the loan on fob value so what is the fob value we have calculated is 44000 of the singapore dollar right now when we sanction any loan we try to maintain the margin 
so here they have said that for pcl loans pcl advances we are giving uh, only 85 percent 50 percent 15 percent is the margin so only 85 percent of the loan we will uh, we will be giving so simply calculate 85 percent of the fob value why 85 percent because 15 percent we are retaining as a margin very simple right so we will say only 85 percent we are giving the loan because we remain the uh, we maintain the margin of 15 percent so 85 percent we will only sanction so out of that 44,000.85 you have to calculate so you will get the uh, the loan amount you can sanction is only 37,400 of the Singapore dollar that much of loan you can sanction but we are sanctioning for export right so in case of rupees we have to convert right this is the Singapore that much of loan you can sanction but you are giving it to export so Indian rupees we have to equivalent we have to calculate now very simple see here now uh, see it is very easy how to calculate see uh, exporter exporter will export and bank is the intermediary exporter will will export to Singapore and they will give the Singapore dollar that is foreign currency we will receive and that, that we are giving to the exporter so when exporter send something to the export uh, the other country the bank is intermediary is receiving the foreign currency so when we receive the foreign currency we are receiving means it is the inflow of the foreign currency and inflow is nothing but the buying case right so obviously for a bank it is the buying case so this rate they have given hd inr so this is a buying rate this is a selling rate so 55.30 is the buying rate and 55.34 is the selling rate so this is the our buying rate because the export transaction so it is a buying for the bank so buying uh, this is a buying rate we will select okay this rate we will select now uh, what happened they have given the bank is charging 0 0.20 as the exchange margin so it is very easy you are very much familiar right so see here rate we have decided the margin is 0 0.2 percent so 0 0.2 percent of what of this rate is nothing but the uh, 0 0.1106 so 0 0.2 percent of 55.3 is nothing but the 0 0.1106 so it is a buying case so what is target buy low and sell high so buy low so when we buy we should subtract the margin because we have to buy low so 55.30 this is our rate subtracting the margin you will get 55.1894 so when you get that um, uh, that much of uh, figure uh, last step is uh, doing the uh, rounding off how can we do the rounding off 94 is lies between the 75 to 100 right 25 is a gap so 94 is very much near to the 100 so we will be making it a 100 so instead of 1894 we will be write, writing 1900 we will be writing 1900 we were making the 94 as a 100 so it will be 1900 okay now uh, here we have calculated that a 37400 amount of loan uh, sgd you can give as a loan so for a rupee equivalent we have to multiply this by the that much of indian rupees because one sgd is for 55.1900 right so simply multiply it you will get the rupee equivalent amount you will get the rupee equivalent amount okay so in this way you can uh, go for the uh, the questions which is based on the pcl okay if you have not subscribed on youtube please subscribe on youtube banker zone also you can download the android app banker zone caib